Hi there. This video is going to be the same neon glitters that we used for the little rainbow set the other day in the live video, but I'm really curious what they look like on a black base. I'm thinking that they're gonna look pretty amazing. So we're gonna use all those same colors. I've already got some epoxy mixed up. I'm gonna do it my normal way this time because I messed up on the last one because I didn't have enough epoxy. Normally you want it on there super duper thin, but that just didn't work out for me the other day. I apologize for the humming in the background. It is really hot in here, so I had to turn on the air conditioner. Hopefully it's not too loud. If you put your epoxy on too thick when you're applying your glitter with this method, be prepared to put a little more glitter than you normally would. Otherwise you'll end up with those weird flat spots where the glitter literally just kind of settles into the epoxy. I want it thick enough to grab plenty of glitter, but not so thick that I have to spend half my day compensating for it. And a lot of people might be like, oh my gosh, that's so much epoxy. It works for me. If it works for you, great. Just be prepared to make adjustments in other areas. has also been sitting here for a few minutes. I was just um, doing a top coat on that rainbow one and it is um, kind of thick. Not too crazy. This is just a little 10 ounce Ozark Trail tumbler that I grabbed one Walmart had them at Christmas. Caught a good sale, so I was able to stock up a little bit. I'm not worried about air bubbles either because I'm about to cover them with glitter, so you're not going to see them. It's not really going to do much. I mean, it'd be different if it looked like a bubble gum bubble, but for just a little micro bubble or maybe slightly larger than that. I'm not worried about it. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got all my spots here. Make sure and get the rim. Oh, there's a dry spot right there. It's kind of hard to see on this black base where the dry spots are. Base is not very heavy. All right, so that is it for the base coat. So we're gonna let that level out for just a bit uh, and then we'll do the glitters. I've got all the colors on there. You can see every once in a while there's kind of a darker spot. That is where it kind of soaked into the epoxy like I mentioned earlier. 
So what I'm gonna do is go back over each color. I'm just gonna let it collect here. This is kind of my extra sheet that I had underneath that I was tapping it. You may have seen it in the video where I went like that, just to kind of allow some of the excess to fall off. Any of that fall off is gonna end up in my dump jar. If you don't already do this, you should. You should. You would be amazed at how pretty some of the combinations are that you'll get here. This one, even though I haven't put very much silver in it, definitely has a lot of silver tones to it. It's not going to try and focus. Um, the person I get most of my glitter from, she did a limited release of what she called trash pile, which was literally what I just described. Is just all the the dump stuff that falls off. This is what kind of they clean out whenever they're doing their photos and all that. Um, this was a limited run and she'll do another one whenever that releases again, but it's really pretty. So we are just gonna sprinkle on here one more time. It's really funny how it looks like it has the pink, the orange, green, yellow, blue, and purple. That's funny how it ends up looking like that on here. So maybe I know that now for future reference that the green looks yellow and the yellow looks green on a black base. But now we know. So I'm just gonna sprinkle on here just to kind of make sure that we got all the spots that needed to be covered. Go a little heavier handed than I probably want to. Especially since this is going in the dump cup or jar. If you don't have a shaker, that's all right. Just throw it in a solo cup or something for now. I made some great coasters, earrings, all kinds of stuff with that mix. You can call it your own custom blend. Just a couple more little spots I wanna address. I ended up with a little bit more epoxy on my base, on my bottom, I mean, than I intended. So I definitely have to address that. I've got definitely some slicker spots there. So now I'm gonna do the orange now. This is the Tequila Sunrise. This jar is giant. I accidentally ordered two. She must have a lot of requests for this one because it came in a four ounce shaker pretty cool. I didn't really know that those were a thing. Fran had mentioned it once on her Facebook group, but I always miss it when she's got them in stock for certain colors. It was quite surprising. Kind of comical. Since my yellow and green kind of ended up bigger, I'm gonna go a little bit bigger on the orange right here. And one more little spot when it comes around. Oopsie, that did not go where I wanted it to. Okay. That's it for that one. Maybe I'll go ahead and do, I'm afraid if I do a layer of the green now over the yellow, it'll actually look green. That'd be my luck. A lot of people end up commenting on not every video but frequently asking what res uh, epoxy I use and I just use the Envirotex light that I get at Michael's you can get it on Amazon too I'll go ahead and put a link to make it easy it works for me some people it doesn't work well for their climate or humidity or temperatures I don't know I have not had a problem with it I've been using it for several months now I'm on my second set of gallon jugs so however long that took that looks a little bit more yellow now 
That's encouraging. Just a little bit more green. I like it. It's not perfect by any sense, but as long as it's pretty and somebody likes it, that's all that matters. All right, so now to poolside again. I'm gonna take this pull side down over the purple a little bit because I got a little high on that purple. Blend that down a little further. And before you attempt to epoxy after doing multiple colors, if you want them to stay where they're supposed to stay, I highly, highly encourage that you throw a clear coat on there after your epoxy cures. Throw clear coat and then maybe even let that dry and do another clear coat. The neon one that I did the other day. I put a clear coat on it and I sure did have some movement on my purple. Okay, that's it for the blue. <laughs> it's like a pastel neon, which is a total oxymoron. heavier down here and lighter as I go up. Like I said, ombres aren't my strong suit, but the trick for when I do get them right is to sprinkle from further up to get it nice and thin for each color to come together where they're overlapping. If it's too hard of a line, it's definitely not an ombre, it's just kind of a stripe which is fine. If that's what you're going for, great. I'm seeing some beautiful striped cups. There are lots of great tutorials out there, different ways of doing ombre. Uh, There's some people that will do just a two color ombre and pour kind of at an angle. And then some people will kind of blend it a little bit and then um, have a 50-50 blend and kind of sprinkle that in between also. So I've got a couple of slick spots right here on the bottom that I need to address. But I really don't want to waste a ton, so I'm just going to do this real quick. I don't mind donating a little to the cause of the dump cut. Look how pretty that is on the counter. It's so pretty. Okay, that is it. I'm gonna let this rotate for just a little bit. I mean, theoretically with epoxy method, you don't have to let it rotate. But like I said, I went on there a little thicker than usual with the epoxy so that my cover colors would really adhere well. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I like it. Um, but 
I'm gonna let it rotate for a little while, at least two hours, let it set up pretty good. And then I'll come turn it off or set my timer. Um, and then, like I said, I'm going to clear coat the crazy, like crazy levels of clear coat. And then I'll do my first layer of epoxy, probably tomorrow. I don't think it'll be cured enough to do it tonight. So that's it. Hope you learned a little bit of something of doing these um, neon colors on a black base. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. Um, I'll do a picture of these colors at the end of this video. If you like my videos, please don't hesitate to subscribe and turn on your not notifications. Um, especially if you like a train wreck of me trying to do something when things don't go my way. I feel like that's a good majority of my videos is things not turning out like I envisioned, but they turn out pretty. So, yeah, that's it. Y'all have a good one. Stay safe out there.